everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and if you are new here, please do subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I edited this photograph of my friend Alvi. And I really like the way that it's quite dark and masculine, but also quite cool. So I've written down all the settings that I used on a piece of paper here, and I'm going to show you the exact things that I did to achieve this look. So as you can see here, this is the before and after. So it's quite masculine, it's quite cool, it's quite dark, but it's not too dark in that it's kind of off-putting. The green's a little bit darker, he stands out a lot more. So we're gonna jump into how I achieved this look. So this is the unedited photograph. The only thing I have done is cropped in here a little bit to change the composition and to zoom in a tiny bit. But otherwise, this is just shot out of camera. This is the raw photograph. You can see here the before and after, they're exactly the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is to pull up the contrast to plus 30. Now I don't always do this, I sometimes go to 20, but I feel like if you go to 30 it pushes it a little bit more, makes it a little bit more masculine, it's quite good for men to do this in men's photographs. So the contrast I pulled up to 30. Now the highlights I'm going to pull all the way down to minus 100. I feel like this just evens out this skin tone here on the side of his face. Because the sun was quite harsh there, I feel like it's overexposed, so I'm just going to pull that all the way down and kind of even that out a little bit more for him. The shadows, I'm going to pull up 20. This is something that I do with a lot of my photographs. It just kind of evens out a little bit more, brightens it up a little bit more, and it's just something that I tend to do on quite a regular basis with most of my photographs, if I'm honest. Next up is the blacks. So I'm going to pull the blacks down minus 30. Again, sometimes I go to minus 20, or with women's photos I'll actually go up. But with this one I'm going to go minus 30, just to make the black of his beard and his hair really stand out and really pop a little bit more. The clarity, I'm going to go plus 30. So again, this is something that I don't often do with women, but I will do with men. Just because I feel like with men you can be a little bit more bold, a little bit more contrasty and darker maybe. I think you can just edit differently depending on the person and also depending on the kind of vibe that you're going for with the photographs. So clarity plus 30 and I'm going to pull the vibrance up to plus 20. Now I'm not going to touch the saturation today for this one, I think it's fine as it is. So now if we go down here to the HSL slider, I'm not going to touch the hue at all, I'm just going to leave that as it is. So with saturation I'm going to pull the yellow one minus 50 and also the green minus 50. This just makes the grass less saturated and less like in your face and bold and brash, which I'm not really into. Um, that's all for the saturation. And then for luminance, I'm going to make the yellow and green minus 50 again. So this just makes the grass that a little bit darker, a little bit less in your face. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to make the orange minus 20. So this is just making his skin tone a tiny bit darker. Not that I'm playing with it too much at all. I mean, that's all I'm doing basically. So it's just, just kind of, just bringing it back to how it is in real life. Because sometimes with photographs, you know, skin tones and colours can change a little bit. So I'm just trying to bring it back to as natural as to his skin tone as possible. So minus 20 with that one. So that's it with the colours, I'm not going to touch the split toning, but I'm going to pull the sharpening up to 80 so that it's nice and crisp, and I'm going to enable the profile corrections. So just from doing those basic edits, this is where we're at so far. You can see it makes a huge difference, the grass is the main thing I think that makes him stand out, but also makes that kind of fade away into the background a little bit more. The other thing I did was change the temperature and the tint, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. I had it at 5600. And then I had the tint at 13. And I feel like just adding a little bit of warmth and a tiny bit of pink just makes the photograph all that better. So that is the before and after. That's exactly how I achieved this look. That's literally all I did. Everything is there. There's no secret tips. There's nothing hidden. This is exactly it. This is all I did. Basically make the green a little bit darker. Make him pop out a little bit more. Um, and that's it. You could increase exposure a tiny bit if you wanted or pull that down a tiny bit, but I think that actually I nailed the exposure on that day, so I think that's perfect. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how to go from this photograph to this photograph in this video. If it did help you out, please do give me a big thumbs up on this video, it really helps me out. And make sure you subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.